Looker Studio is better than Power BI for business intelligence. And I'll tell you why. Hello and welcome to Learn BI Online with me, Adam Finer, helping you do more with data. Now, before you start saying that I don't know what I'm talking about, it's crazy. I've been working in business intelligence for almost 15 years and with data for over 30. I've worked on hundreds of different projects for businesses of all sizes and in all industries. So I have a wealth of experience that I believe qualifies me as an expert in the field. There are lots of ways I believe Looker Studio is better than Power BI for business intelligence. He's lost his mind. But let me tell you about two main ones that underline my point the best. Firstly, it comes down to what business intelligence is. Whatever you feel the definition is, business intelligence is essentially monitoring business performance using data. Through dashboards, you can see a snapshot of business activity and how current performance compares with past performance, how data is trending, identify correlations, etc, etc. But it's all down to monitoring performance. So, as I'm sure you'd agree, it's fair to say that the notion of time is an essential factor when it comes to business intelligence, right? Of course. Looker Studio, or Google, understands this, which is why in every query behind every chart or graph or table, etc., a date field is included by default, if there is one in the data source. Okay, so that's nothing special, you might say. You can just add a date field into the filters of your query in Power BI. True, but that's not why Looker Studio date filtering functionality is better for business intelligence. It's because of this part here. Also, by default, an automatic date range is applied to the data. This will depend on the data source you're using. If, in this case, it's Google Analytics, the auto time period is set to the last 28 days. With all structured data sources like files and database tables, it's set to all data. If I want to change to a custom date period instead, I just click here and you've got tons of predefined options at your disposal. Set either a fixed period or choose a dynamic one. If the one you want isn't here, just set it up yourself with the advanced options. It's just so much easier to work with dates in Looker Studio compared to Power BI. And that is really important. You can say that again. Okay, you're saying it's not that impressive and doesn't make Looker Studio better. And? Well, I haven't finished yet. There's also this part here, comparison date range. With just a couple of clicks, I can create this, a scorecard containing data for two different time periods, compared with a percentage of difference, color-coded depending on the positive or negative result. Now you try creating that in Power BI. This type of small scorecard here is a fundamental primordial part of business intelligence. Pretty much every single BI dashboard needs these. And yet they're so complicated and convoluted to build using Power BI. I give up. It makes no sense to me at all. If it does to you, please explain in the comments below. Oh, and by the way, all of the custom date range functionality is also standard in all date range controls, what you might call slices. Can you imagine setting up that in Power BI? All right, so that's the first reason I believe Looker Studio is better than Power BI for business intelligence. Tell me more. I'm just going to butt in here for a sec to say that if you'd like to master either Power BI or Looker Studio, head on over to the Learn BI Academy, where I have in-depth courses on both. Those courses are also part of my BI Analyst Starter Program, a program designed with one specific goal in mind, to teach you all of the tools and skills you'll need to be job ready as a business intelligence analyst. For more information, visit learnbi.academy or just click the link in the description. Okay, back to the video. My next big reason comes down to accessibility, which actually covers a few different points. Firstly, Power BI is primarily a PC-based piece of software Woo! That, was close. that you need to install locally in order to connect to data and build out your reports. There is, of course, the cloud service, but you can't get very far with that, i.e. you can't analyze data with it. Looker Studio, on the other hand, is platform agnostic because it's 100% cloud-based. Nothing to download and install at all. 
And do you know why this is better? Well, because the majority of business data for the vast majority of businesses out there in the real world is online, either in cloud platforms or via SaaS solutions. CRM, CMS, marketing, finance, sales, customer service, etc. The average business uses cloud solutions to help them run their organization. Google understands this. That's why Looker Studio is online as well, so that it can be constantly communicating with the cloud data sources it's connected to. So when you reload your dashboard on any given day, you're looking at the latest data without needing to do any kind of manual refresh. If you need to monitor performance, it should be as frictionless as possible. If you're having to manually refresh data and upload new files every time you want to see the latest data, it's cumbersome and not fit for purpose. The purpose being business intelligence. Yes, I know you can set up scheduled refresh with Power BI, but not for all data sources, and there are other fairly strict limitations too. I also understand that you can create direct or live connections to data sources with Power BI, but again, only for a handful of different sources, and it's not the norm. If Microsoft had their way, you'd be extracting all data from its source and importing it to Power BI. They say as much explicitly in their documentation. To be honest, I find it totally absurd that in 2024, the largest technology and software company in the world is incapable of providing a cloud-based, fully operational BI tool. I just don't get it and not some Frankenstein solution of installed PC-only software and a cloud service that, let's admit, is pretty sketchy. Ouch. Can anyone explain this to me? Let me know in the comments. So those are my two main reasons for stating that Looker Studio is a better BI tool than Power BI when it comes to business intelligence. I could also mention that Looker Studio has almost 1,000 different data source connectors available via third parties, far more than Power BI. Or I could mention that the Looker Studio calculation engine is based on SQL, a very common and widely used language. Whereas if you want to calculate anything in Power BI, you have to learn a completely different language called DAX. I'll openly admit that DAX is far superior in terms of the calculations it can do, especially the more complex ones. It's very kind of you. But in business intelligence, those kinds of calculations tend to be few and far between. In most cases, you simply won't need anything that advanced. Don't need it. And Looker Studio is largely sufficient. So are you convinced yet? I, I don't know, I don't know. I can hear loads of you screaming at the screen, but it has no data modeling layer. You are, of course, correct. At least not one as advanced as Power BI. This is one area where Looker Studio is sorely lacking. But let's think about it for a second in the context of business intelligence. When might you want or need to model your data? For modeling, we're talking about blending data sources together using a relational model. Well, mainly when you have data in separate Excel sheets or workbooks. You don't really need to for data in SQL databases because you can write SQL to do that. He's not wrong. You see, data modeling ideally should be done before the data gets to your BI tool, making analysis and visualization easier and more efficient. Looker Studio does let you join different data sources together in a pretty basic way, but a lot of the time you simply need to combine data from different sources around dates, so you can do things like see your marketing data from different platforms over time in a single chart. One final area that is important in business intelligence is the sharing capabilities. Share. On this front, I think they're both as bad as each other, although I do find Power BI to be more restrictive in that generally the person you're sharing with needs to be a Microsoft user, specifically someone with an Azure Active Directory or AAD account. If you want to share with someone outside, you need to add them as a guest first before sharing. With Looker Studio, dashboards can only be shared securely with someone who has a Gmail-based address. So neither is ideal and both could be improved. You can do better. So all of this together makes me say with confidence that Looker Studio is a better BI tool for business intelligence in the majority of cases. I rest my case. I am not saying that Power BI is not a good tool. It is. It's very powerful indeed. And if you or your organization works within the Microsoft ecosystem, you should definitely go for Power BI.
But for the rest of us, don't turn up your nose at Looker Studio until you take it for a test drive. For someone new to BI, you'll almost definitely find yourself going further faster with Looker Studio. <laughs> And that's why, before teaching Power BI and Tableau in my BI Analyst Starter Program, we start with Looker Studio. Because for beginners, it is the simplest BI tool to learn, allowing them to understand the basics of BI tools before moving on to more complex ones. So what are your thoughts on the whole Looker Studio versus Power BI debate? What have I missed? Let me know in the comments. And find out more about the Learn BI Academy here. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Until the next time, bye.